Ah, I get it. You've been taking drugs. No, okay, maybe just a little. Braxton always has a good stash, and I just like to let loose a little. Stop thinking about the marauders and the raptodons outside, you know? Right, right. So you do know Braxton. Where is he? Oh, damn. He told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. The whole family had fallen sick, and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? All I needed. You want to know what I think? This Braxton fella threw away the trappings of society and joined a pack of wild raptodons. Right. Uh, uh, if only you were Ellie, she would have slapped you. Don't be an idiot, Felix. You're a lovable goofball, but don't be too dumb. What was your family like, Felix? Did you ever know him? I never knew him. I was a sto- Did I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Another advance? What do you need all these advances Greetings. for? And welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest Saltuna and Halcyon. Oh. What can I do for you today? Sure. Uh, Grim wants me to check about his tossball poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it. But if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. Damn. I was just over but there. I'll warn you. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. I heard you were having money trouble? Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix a thing his own self and busted it even worse and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough so he's docking your wages again? Not that I got any prior experience with such a thing. Calm no, down, no. Parvati. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on a raptodon acid. That's stupid. I didn't have any choice. That's all Sebastian had in stock the other day. If you've got that many bits to spend, I've got trash to sell you. Oh, I don't need any of it. It's also I can talk to Sebastian. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. Ah. Oh. Strong, silent type. I see. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff, and some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Let's ask him on a date. I couldn't. What if he says no? Hey, maybe you could ask him for me. I, I mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Oh. Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Alright. Yo. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? That's... How can that's, I'm not here because of that. Not that's, the Lord no, that's not why I'm here. You've often posed these very questions. Why is your hair purple and it looks this like green? This newcomer has a meeting with me. Oh? A meeting? Uh, <laughs> no. You have a meeting with me. Did you hear that power play, Celia? They don't make them like this anymore in Halcyon. I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. Now, what business brings you here? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for an information broker. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. But, if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. No, no. It could always be both, though. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. Uh. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. 
Athletic. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. If you're free of the other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? Scared to go it alone. You need the board to hold your hand and tell you everything's going to be okay. Ain't that right? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. No, it's tough. Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. Ten years? You've been now, doing fine, all right. In business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Precarious. And you're tired of scrounging and scraping by. Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal. But a rather costly paramour. Can't imagine why you'd sneer at the notion of a free colony. Could it be because you're an agent of the establishment? Hold on with the I conspiracies. Used to be young and idealistic too, but you can't run a city on high-minded ideals. So what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, my dear. Are you out of your mind? You can't just go crawling back to your old masters. Well, we can't continue to subsist like this either. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. This lady knows what's going on. It's true. Our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The oh. plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Okay, how long did it take you to figure out you needed to defend your city? Not long, but the devil is always in the details. And the salient detail here is a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, will be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Where do I find it? In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Ah. Why are you saying it that way? Saying what? Which way? Arms instead of That's arms. That's just what it's called. It's supposed to stand for something, but I forget what. I'm sure I'll know it when I find it. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Before we go, I need what to ask you about something. You? Isaac Rose is dead from the people who killed him. But that's terrible. What happened? I killed them. But that means we won't be able to log their testimonies. If there's one thing I've been hoping to reestablish in Stellar Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Oh. Maybe I could have gotten their statements if they hadn't been ready to kill me. Always a shame when tempers get the better of good sense. I know, that's why I like dialogue. Hey, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Thank you. Uh I met Grim. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? You did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Nah, that's it. Goodbye. Here's now. The about toss ball. Toss ball is all about scoring goals. Scoring goals. Got it. And you can score a goal by kicking the ball, throwing the ball, or, uh... I hear those or running it into the Saturday goal if you're a visitor. Or the Sunday goal if you're on the home team. Okay, so if you're on the home team, you want to run the ball into the Sunday goal? Makes uh, perfect sense. Yeah. You can also kick it. That's called a foot goal. Or throw it. That's called a hand goal. Running's worth more points, but it's got some risks. 
You could get cleaved, hacked, winged, bronzed. You could tumble the ball in the Wednesday zone. Also known as getting humped. <laughs> Hump day. Are still talking about toss ball or? Uh, well, yeah. What do you think we were talking about? All right, Felix, you're an I odd duck. Give you duck. a friendlier welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grim his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? You're, didn't he pay for it, though? No. I paid Sublight for it. So it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Ah. Surely we can work something out. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Work with me. I'm helping you find Braxton, aren't I? Sure. And once you finish helping me, then we can talk about the poster. Ah, you clever bitch. All right. Fine. Hey, Belma, I got your capitalist. Okay. Life. All right, so what do we do here? Oh, yeah, we need to find... Uh... I'm gonna look at this. Oh, nope, there we go. The secret people. Family matter. The empty man. All right. Should probably go there first. Ah, uh, well, we'll make this all on our way. Southeast exit, right? Yeah. South of Stellar Bay. Makes sense. Ah. Diet toothpaste. Stellar Bay. Taking the sights, the sounds, the... Wait, what's that smell? You reckon the smell ever goes away? Maybe the wind off the sea helps. Here we go! Good job, guys. Oh, not dead yet, huh? Everyone all right? Yeah, we're good. We're all good. Ah, oh, Cascadia, Fallbrook, Amber Heights, Stellar Bay. You're fine. It's just acid. It's temporary. A hot dog.
They really like broke a hole through here, huh? Ooh. Died with your little sprat, huh? Okay, and what about here? What do you guys got in your little church area? Take that. I'll take that and that and that and that. Just you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take all of this. Just gonna take all of this, okay? Ooh, you didn't make it. Ah, a book. Nice hat. Revolver Mark Two. Okay. So far, so good. Just like in the cereals. I wonder Have a good bra. And that's how you do it. Alright, what gets increased this time? Whoops. Hmm. Now I need a perk. Health per kill. Quiet weapon damage. The Mather Residence. Oh my goodness. My grandmother's middle name is Mather. Tony Mather. Okay. Visitor? What an unexpected surprise! Please, hey. come in! Come in! We're armed to the teeth? What's he gonna do? Kill us with generosity? That's the spirit. Now come in! Make yourselves comfortable! Hey, I'm looking for Braxton. He supposedly, supposedly came by here. I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The Raptodons and Marauders scare off all but the boldest. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why don't you stay for dinner? Okay. 
But are you sure you haven't heard of Braxton? I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Dinner's almost ready. I think I just lost my appetite. Yeah, something's off here. Oh, hello there. You come for... for, uh, dinner? Huh, <laughs> Levi Mather. Looking for a man named Braxton. Sorry, I'm not real good with, uh, names. Something wrong? It just gets hard to remember things. I recall moments, feelings, but the details slip. I felt like that after my dad passed. Walked around in a haze for weeks. I'm sorry you're feeling that way, too. Other times, it's like there's fog. I... Sorry, have we talked about this before? Maybe I can help That's you. That's nice of you. I usually feel better after I eat. Mama said dinner's almost ready, huh? I'm gonna leave you alone. What a pleasant surprise. And just when I was beginning to fear we'd seen the last of good company for a spell. Yet the Eternal provides, does it not? The Eternal provides. Uh, I hope you're not... I mean, if you're so eager for company, why live all the way the out here? The Eternal does not desire that we huddle and hide, crowded in by walls. We all share the spark of the Divine. And we were made to spread it across the stars. Ah. Out here, we are free. And even apart from society, the universe provides for us, as your being here proves. Things have a way of working out, I suppose. That they do. Though it's up to us to make the most of those opportunities, wouldn't you say? Look at me, prattling on as if this gravy is going to cook itself. Why don't you run along until we are ready for dinner? Okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go. Hmm. I know we're locked in. Hello. Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? Sure, I brought some candies. That's wonderful. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. Was his name Braxton? I don't know. I'm not really supposed to talk to strangers. What can you tell me about this man? Mama and Papa said he came from the city. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. And they worked. Now we feel better than ever. Mama says they're a gift from the Eternal. Is Braxton coming with the drugs? Why isn't he bringing you more candy? He said they were making us sick. Mom and Papa got real mad at him for that. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. Alright. Okay. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. That was real nice of her. Inviting us to dinner like that. Yeah. Real nice. Doors locked. I can pick this. Well, oh, no. no, 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 no. I am so glad I skipped lunch. Well, we found Braxton and a sword called Supper Time. These guys are sick, and we're going to take them all out. Entire family of sickos. The sun crests the horizon, as round, soft, and warm. As a lump of a cesspig, the day is fresh, 
and alive with possibility. Ever reds rise from the ground, glistening and triumphant in the daylight. In daylight, they remind me that life can grow even here amongst the dust. Okay, these aren't really good poems. What's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? Relax. This doesn't have to end badly. Of course not. What better end for the day than a meal around the family table? And what more noble purpose for you than to bring us together? Or you can let me go and I can send meals your way. Now there's an intriguing prospect. Forgo the promise of a fine dinner now for others down the road. Martha, my dear, what do you say? It seems the Eternal shall provide through our new friend. And there we have it. Stop by any time, hmm? Guys. We're going to have to bottleneck them. So, let's start with... Start with this. Killing so many people has made you uneasy when fighting humans. Oh my. No, because I have no problem killing these guys. If I was going to get guilt ridden, I wouldn't be fighting them. If I was killing some random people, yeah, but I'm not going to be guilt ridden for killing this family. <sighs> I can both, I can be both admired and feared by the same faction. Wow. I guess that's true. Wait a minute. Yeah, I might as well.
Just getting started. Lots of goodies in here. Lots of bits, too. Okay. Okay. Get into the arms building. Am I not in the arms building? There we go. So hard to grab sometimes. Oh, hello? Hello? I hear boots out there. Wait, you got your boots? Ah, get away! <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Who's in there? Well, I need to get into that room. Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. Mm. So, so a possibility. Guy, or a rat? Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. There must be a way to open it from the inside. What do you mean? It's locked. Right, but... Okay, let's try the handle. Turn it upwards and... Upward? Oh, my eternal soul. It worked. You are an idiot. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was going to die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Good for you. Normally, when you help someone, they give you something for their trouble. 
got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? I can't buy ammo and appreciation with appreciation and ex and respect. Uh, that's true. Okay, fine. Here. Sure you're okay to travel? Oh, sure. I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... <laughs> hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? Yeah, yeah, just beat it. Yes, sir. The hell out of here. All these mag locks. Oh, all these bits. Hmm. Good thing we just had to come in here, eh? the way back. That's the last of them. We did good. Real good. And now we're back at Stellar Bay. Ooh. Smells like those old Sundays when we'd unload salt tuna shipments at the cannon. We need to get over there now. So this is all pretty much nothing. You gotta go exploring. I wanna see some savages. Alright. Go make our way back to this family matters business. Rescue this little kid who decided to run away. Uh oh. Damn it, Felix, don't stand in my way. Wait a minute. Can I go this? Good job, Felix. Get 
Oh my. Alright, get up guys, you're good. Terra One Publication Building. At least there's a fast travel. Alright, we're gonna save here. End the video. Make our way back. Oh shit! You are not what I thought you were gonna be. Is that a manta? Is that a queen? Oh my goodness. Well, we're out. Just let's just leave here and